Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at the Razer Def Adder Chroma. It's specifically intended for gaming having extreme DPI settings going far beyond what I can use comfortably, and with its ergonomic shape, smooth lines and plentiful RGB colour effects, it's by far my favourite mouse yet. In the box it contains instructions, stickers and the mouse itself. When ordering this mouse, I knew that I wanted a gaming centric mouse that felt good in the hand but would also be great for editing and day to day tasks. I went for this because of its generous size and ergonomic hand placement which allows for my hand to sit comfortably for hours at a time. I also appreciate the regular style buttons which feel clicky and responsive and the added forward and back side buttons are a nice extra. Moving around the edges, you'll find a soft, rubberized finger and thumb rest, which aid grippability. The build quality is good, but because it's made of plastic, you may get the occasional creak under stress, plus it's really lightweight. Unfortunately, this can take away from its premium feel. The things that do add to the premium aesthetic are the braided cable, gold-plated USB connector, and the rich LED lighting. As far as features go, I couldn't be happier. The added chroma at the end of the name means it has an RGB color spectrum rather than one set color, as well as the lighting effects like cycling through colors, static for both click wheel and logo, and the very ominous pulsing setting for the Razer logo. On top of this, it has macro functionality, optical sensor adjustability between 100 and 10,000 dots per inch, as well as increasing acceleration of the cursor. It also has another level of accuracy, with the calibration option to let the mouse know what surface it's sitting on, or select what brand of mouse mat you have. All of these functions are controlled using the Razer Synapse application, which is straightforward and easy to use. When it comes to gaming, the mouse was a pleasure to use. I was able to game for long periods of time and enjoy the feeling that nothing was holding my playstyle back. I will say that it's not going to increase your skill level, so if you're not very good at first person shooters, you probably still won't be much better at them. It just allows you to be your best and surpass the standard office style mouse and gaming controller. I've been using this mouse for over three months now and it's worn very well showing no signs of grease or dirt. I could easily recommend it and the lighting features can add a special something to a gaming setup. So overall, I've really enjoyed using this mouse. The pros being its great in-hand feel, clicky response, high DPI sensitivity and the ability to blend into most setups. Plus, the added Razer Synapse utility adds lots of functionality. The cons, unfortunately, would have to be the lack of any metals used plus it's light plastic feel. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed my thoughts on this mouse. If anyone has any questions, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.